The biggest war of the century, the biggest threat to Europe's doorsteps is still there. Now developments in the ongoing war between Ukrainian army and the Russian army are being shared with the world public by sources. When we look at the latest reports, the counterattack launched by the Ukrainian army last month continues in at least four sectors of the front line. The Russian army suffered great losses during the counterattack by the Ukrainian army. Moreover, the Ukrainian army managed to liberate many points from Russian occupation. So what is the latest situation on the front line? Let's examine the latest situation on the map together. The Pioneer continues to bring you its analysis of the Russia-Ukraine war. We need your support to continue this work. You can subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map analysis and reports on the agenda. You can also support our team by using the super thanks button below the video. The Pioneer reports. Let's start our map report by examining the latest situation south of Bakhmut. The region is literally a cauldron of fire. According to local reports, there are major clashes between the two armies. As you may recall from our previous reports, the Ukrainian army was in control around the Sirpsky Donets Donbass Canal. As you can see on the map, this area is very important for the success of the offensive south of Bakhmut. In fact, the situation in the region has become a bit chaotic. The Ukrainian army continues to dominate the region. At the same time, the continued offensive of the Ukrainian troops in the direction of Klishchivka south of Bakhmut poses a great threat to Russia. Therefore, the Russian army is conducting operations to repel Ukrainian troops from the Sirpsky Donets Zambas Canal position. The Ukrainian army, on the other hand, responds to these operations organized by the Russian army in the most violent way. In the past days, the attacks launched by the Russian army on Sirpsky Donets Zambas line failed. Russian troops who suffered heavy losses had to retreat. Let's continue with the latest situation in Klishchivka. The Ukrainian armed forces continue to hold on their positions on the dominant hills. When we look at the reports from local sources in recent days, offensive operations continue in the direction of Klishchivka. Let's look at the Klishchivka area on the map. Here, the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces is carried out on two flanks. The Ukrainian offensive, which has started from the northwest and the west of Klishchivka, has created a lot of pressure in the center of Klishchivka. As you may recall, we have reported that Russian troops have suffered many casualties in the region after the recent offensive. Some sources had even stated that the Russian troops tended to retreat to northeast of Klishchivka. It is not possible to say that there has been a mass withdrawal so far. However, Russian troops in the center of Klishchivka are overwhelmed by the Ukrainian army's pressure in the region. Allegedly, there are disagreements among the Russian troops in the region. During this conflict, commanders and soldiers often confront each other. While the commanders are in favor of defending Klishchivka, they want to withdraw, claiming that they cannot resist the approaching threat. At the moment, it is not possible to say that there has been a significant change in the operational situation in the Bakhmut Center. However, one of the most striking details about the latest situation in Bakhmut Center is the Chechen forces in the area. As you may recall, after the Wagner Group left Bakhmut Center, Chechen forces loyal to Chechen leader Ramazan Kadyrov were deployed in the area. Allegedly, these Chechen troops do not have enough experience to take part in such a major military conflict. Therefore, Bakhmut's defenses may be at their weakest so far. However, before the Bakhmut city center, the Ukrainian army needs to fully establish its dominance on the flanks. Operational activity on the northern front line of Bakhmut flanks continues unabated. We know that the Ukrainian army's dominance in and around Brachivka is quite strong. According to latest reports, the Ukrainian army has deployed new troops in ammunition to the region. It is possible to say that in the coming days, a more violent Ukrainian offensive will begin in the direction of Brachivka. Of course, this situation scares the Russian army a lot. Therefore, the Russian army needs to dislodge Ukrainian troops from their positions before the reinforcements arrive. In recent days, the Russian army has carried out several attacks. Ukrainian artillery units immediately responded to the attacks against the Ukrainian armed forces units taking positions around Brachivka and forced the Russian troops to retreat. Let's continue our report with the latest situation on the Zaporizhia frontline. 
The operational activity in the north of Robotin, one of the most important points of Zaporizhia front line, continues unabated. As you can see on the map, the Ukrainian army has an area of dominance north of Robotin. The existence of this dominance area is a major threat to Russia's presence in Robotin. Therefore, the Russian army recently launched an offensive against the Ukrainian positions north of Robotin. Ukrainian artillery units responded heavily to the Russian assault attachments in the area. According to local sources, the Ukrainian army managed to make gains in the north of Robotin after this defensive operation, albeit limited. According to the latest reports, the Ukrainian army has managed to reach the residential areas of Robotin. In fact, it is possible to say that the operational activity on the Zaporizhia front line is a place where more significant successes have been achieved compared to other fronts when evaluated in terms of the success of the Ukrainian army's counterattack. In our last report, we mentioned that the Ukrainian army launched an offensive in the direction of Jerebyanki, northeast of Vasilivka. According to the latest data from the region, these offensive operations have gained momentum. Ukrainian artillery units are carrying out critical attacks on the positions of the Russian armed forces stationed in the region. According to the claims of local sources, the clashes have reached the outskirts of the region. It is certain that the clashes will approach the city center in the coming days, especially the successful operation organized by the artillery units of the Ukrainian army are forcing the Russian troops in the region to retreat. While the Ukrainian army's counterattack continues in the on the front line, the Russian positions behind the front line are also targeted by Ukrainian artillery units, softening the Russian defense. According to latest data, Ukrainian artillery operations have destroyed important firing positions of the Russian army. These attacks usually take place in the important and strategic areas such as Berdyansk, Tokmak, and Melitopol. Local sources also report that in addition to firing positions, ammunition depots and training facilities of the Russian army were also targeted. The operations of the Ukrainian artillery units are shaping the success of the Ukrainian counteroffensive. What do you think? Do you think the Ukrainian army's counterattack was successful? Do you think the Russian defense are strong? Do you think the counteroffensive will accelerate? We care about your opinion. Please share it with us.